How's it going everybody and welcome to Medical Mythbusters. On today's episode, can you fracture your penis? I've got Moses Feldman right here and I'm also joined today by New York City urologist, Dr. Jake Taylor. Hey everybody. And today we're gonna talk about fracturing your penis, myth or fact? Let me ask you, what really makes a good doctor? If you're not happy, how are you supposed to help your patients? Alrighty, welcome to Medical Mythbusters. I'm here with Dr. Jake Taylor, New York City urologist, and today we're debunking... I saw this in a movie a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> what movie were you watching? The New Guy. Uh -huh. It's called The New Guy, and uh -huh. the dude fractures his penis in the middle of the entire like lunchroom. Oof. And everyone laughs Oof. at him. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's not medically possible. But let me ask you this. Are you a doctor? That's not medically correct, because there's no bones in your penis. There aren't. But apparently you can fracture your penis. Dr. Jake, talk to us about penile fractures. So, penile fractures are a thing. In urology, there are maybe on one hand of emergencies, three or four emergencies in urology, and penile fractures are one of them. So penile fractures happen when a man has an erect penis. Often happens during intercourse. A boner, if you will. A boner, for those that uh, uh, don't know what an erect penis is. But it can happen other times when a man has an erection, doesn't necessarily need to be during intercourse, but most commonly during intercourse. So what happens is in the penis, there's this strong connective tissue called the tunica albuginea that's around the different, let's call muscles of the penis. And when you have an erection, if it goes in the wrong direction, that connective tissue can snap and break and basically rip. And it can cause bleeding, it can cause a penile deformity. Sometimes uh, if uh, somebody comes to the emergency room, it's called an eggplant penis. <laughs> if the penis looks very swollen, deformed, and if you will, like an eggplant, then it's likely that the guy probably has a penile fracture. This is the best video we've ever done. An eggplant <laughs> penis. Yes. Is the bleeding and it's actually it's actually a medical term. Yes. Eggplant penis is a medical term. Yeah. See, this is the things that they don't teach you in medical school <laughs> until you get to, I guess, your urology residency. I, until you. We never yeah, learned yeah, about yeah, penile exactly. fractures. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's an emergency. So you have that tear in the connective tissue. That's that connective tissue holds all the blood in during an erection. Uh huh. So when you tear that, the blood goes outside and causes a big hematoma or a big bruise. And you have to go in, uh, open up the skin, go back and put stitches in that connective tissue so it basically stops bleeding and to correct any deformity. So talk to me about how one would fracture his penis. I know we, we already discussed men must be erect, it commonly happens during sex. Yeah. But I feel like there would have to be like a really dramatic like change in direction with a lot of force to... Yeah. Yeah, it has to hit something and stop and then go in the wrong direction. My God. Yeah. So how would your typical penile fracture patient present? So it's embarrassing for a lot of people, although it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's uh, something that happens. We see it, no need to be embarrassed. Any guys out there, you fracture your penis, come to the emergency room, we'll fix it. It's an emergency. <laughs> um, typically, people will present hopefully pretty soon after the injury because it needs to be fixed in a timely manner to decrease one's risk of complications from it. Hopefully within the first six to 12 hours of the injury happening, and they'll present with pain, they'll present with swelling, they'll present uh, with, like I said, a big bruise often. If there's any injury to the urethra, what carries the urine out, um, sometimes you might see blood at the tip of the penis. Uh, hopefully not, but that means it's a little bit worse of a fracture. Oftentimes men will hide how it happened. Um, they'll say, oh, I walked into a door. I don't know if that's ever been true in the history of the world, but I often hear that one a lot. How often would you see these cases, these penile fractures? I would like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? In New York City, I mean, there's a lot of hospitals in New York City, so we don't get them all. Mm -hmm. um, I would say maybe once a month, one or two a month. 
Frequent enough. Frequent enough. Yeah. And if a man were to fracture his penis, he comes into the the emergency department, sees you guys. Is it an operation in the emergency in the operating room? General anesthesia. General anesthesia. We usually get them into the operating room as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, we fix them up, and usually. Uh, most men can go home the same day, um, but you know, with a dressing and some time to heal it all. But yeah, it's a, we get them into the operating room as soon as we can, fix it up, get them home. And recovering from something like this. Yeah. Uh, would you say it's common for men to have you know a crooked, deformed penis for life, or do most men make a full, complete yeah. recovery? Yeah. So you know, within urology, that area isn't my expertise, so mm -hmm. I can't give you an exact number about how many pe men with fractured penises end up needing additional uh, additional procedures or additional care. Um, but oftentimes uh, they can have some sort of deformity, um, some sort of curvature, which is most often. If the curvature is significant enough where it causes pain during intercourse, um, causes pain with erections, then there are other procedures that we can do to then correct that deformity. Um, and also the one of the main really downsides of fracturing your penis is you're at risk of then um, uh, not being able to get an erection or, or being impotent um, just because uh, the nerves and vessels down there could yeah. be broken. Um, so it might be difficult to get an erection, but again, have no fear. We have uh, things and different, different strategies to fix that as well. Thank God for you specialists. <laughs> yeah. that, that was incredible. Thank you for sharing I'm happy that to share. information with us. Another myth busted. <laughs> Another myth was busted today. <laughs> Dr. Jake Taylor, New York City urologist. You should follow him on Instagram, he's awesome. At doctor, all spelled out, dot Jake, J-A-K-E. Indeed. And thank you for joining us in this episode of Medical Mythbusters. Join us for the next one. Who knows what crazy medical myth we're gonna combat. Penile fractures are real, not a myth. Now at the top of the list.